And here comes the guardian dog. I don't know what we're gonna name him yet. I'm sure they've come up with some crazy thing to name him. I'm sure Nico's gonna be more surprised than all of us. He's a little jealous. The color of this uh, Great Pyrenees is called Blair Lake. A very good friend of mine raises it. And uh, I was just fortunate to be able to snag one of them. Good too. He's already had a bath. Alright, well y'all come on in and we'll get them two acquainted with each other so they don't want to kill each other. He's luckily Nico's still a little puppy, so it'll be uh Okay, we'll get the baby in front of And there is our daughter and our adoptive might as well adopt that kid, Olivia. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Look at you, my sweet baby. This is my baby. Look at me. Are you Atlas? Come here, Nico. You did knock him over. Atlas! Come here. Can I have your paw? Will you shake? Will you shake? Come here. There ain't nothing in there. There's just some water. Uh, good afternoon, YouTube family. Uh, it's Marcus. I'm actually home for the weekend, and uh, which doesn't happen a lot, but uh, we wanted to show you the next addition to our little homestead. What we have here is our new quail family that just entered our homestead. Uh, I built the pen myself, all by myself. I'm really not the builder, but uh, I'm starting to learn since it's very expensive to pay somebody and why not learn how to do it. But what we have is 60 inches tall. It's 54 inches because I didn't feel like cutting the, I have a, I had two pieces, four pieces actually, four pieces of tube of twos that were all the same length. So there was no point in cutting it. So it's 60 inches tall, it's 54 inches long, and it's exactly uh, 25 inches deep. So the way we built it, was we were watching Living Traditions and on Living Traditions, he explained that you really don't want to go over 12 inches because the quail jump up and down, up and down, up and down. We didn't really know that, but I went ahead and did it anyway. So I did the whole 12 inches. And let me tell you, that was a lifesaver. Had I not saw that because the minute we put the quail in here, we thought everything was cool. And then they just bam, 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 bam. They're just jumping. But because it's only 12 inches, they don't have enough momentum to jump up and break their necks. Because if we'd have made it as high as I would have made it before watching that video, I'd have a bunch of dead quail right now. But uh, what we bought was uh, Jumbo Caternix male, and the, the Jumbo females are called a Rosetta quail, I want to say is what Alita called it. And uh, we actually added, it has a latch here, but my wife's worried about some kind of pest or raccoon getting in there on it. So I added the little bungee cord just for extra securement for my wife in case the raccoon was able to raise it and lock it. He can't pull it open because the bungee's gonna stop it. So that's why that's there. Okay. Now, I did the natural bedding with hay on the inside because I have seen people complain about the feet on the quail 
and their their feet get damaged because of the hardware cloth. I like quarter inch hardware. Uh, also with the hay, I can just rake it all out and mostly all of it comes out pretty good and then you just hose it if you need it to, but it cleans up pretty well. But it's actually 12 inches high as I explained because when they jump, and they may jump while we're sitting here, but they've been, they've been getting used to us pretty good bit here right now. But I mean, as you see, they have their water, they have their feed and they're a great addition to our, our homestead. And let me get a close up for them. And then there's our, some of our ladies. And there's our big male on the right and our other two ladies here. And i uh, give the camera back. All right, as you see, it'll hold quite, still hold quite a few quail, but we started out with six. We went to a thing called Taco Bet here that we have always wanted to go to on Sand Mountain. And it was really fun. And uh, we saw a lot of animals, we got to meet new people. And uh, so yeah, we added something else to our homestead. Now we decided to bought more, but we're gonna raise our own and incubate them too. So, but right now we're gonna enjoy the six we got. We may buy six more. I'm not real sure when we'll be able to go back, but I just wanted to show y'all the whole structure is built out of two by twos because it was it's really lightweight and we use quarter inch hardware cloth, top, bottom, sides, everything. Uh, they have 10 on top, which gives them, you know, a weather guard. And we had a pretty good bit of rain just a while ago. So, and I'm looking in here and all the hay's dry. So we're pretty happy about that. And we'll take all the hay out and all their poop and we'll compost it. So it actually benefits us in more ways than none. And if you'll film down here. Now, the bad thing about quail with a regular feeder, if somebody hasn't told you, that's a lot of wasted feed. But with the wasted feed, a quail will stick his head in his feeder, just get him a mouthful and sling his head left and right. You're going to get a crazy feed loss. Uh, we're going to build the one with a Tupperware bowl has a PVC pipe cut in it where they stick their head in it. When they bite it, they shake their head. Living Traditions actually has really helped me on this build for sure. It's probably not ideal to his perfection. He's pretty a lot better builder than I am. But uh, I'm very happy with this. The idea about it only being 12 inches really saved our quail when we first transported them into this. And uh, yeah, so once we get the, the seed waste taken care of, we'll be pretty good. But one thing we have noticed, they make a beautiful noise that it should be in the background. When we had them inside, we really enjoyed that noise until we got them put into here. Because it sounds like a, a video game. Me and my family, we all like it. So. They're actually fun to have. They're easy to keep. And uh, I mean, it's not a whole lot of, right now they're trying to figure out where the side is. They're jumping up and down, just seeing their, testing their boundaries. But it's an addition to our homestead that we really like. They're great to eat. They're fun to keep. And hopefully we get quite a few eggs. I just wanted to show y'all that little bit of addition. And uh, I hope y'all have a great day. And thank you for watching. Please like, share. Uh, show to your friends. Comment if you're not to. We love comments. I hope you have a great day.